Welcome to IPv4 and IPv6 analysis. Analyzing the IP version 4 and IP version 6 is simple and straightforward. We need to have some information in hand that is what a flag, what a checksum, and what a protocol is all about saying from the source to the destination. So, in order to start, here is the packet capture, and here you can see there is the IP version 4 that it starts from my computer that is src source with ip address and this is the destination that goes to google.com with the ip address associated expanding this packet list we can see there are the first that is the version 4 that says header length is 20 bytes header length means that we have already seen inside the http that says all and everything about uh, what the packet is going about, where to deliver, and where it from started, how many bytes and the length of the packets will be there, all are defined inside the headers. In simple words, you can say this is the metadata of all the data or the communication that is going to be takes place or that is in transit. The, the, and this is all that tells about the header length. Coming to the here, the, you can see this is the total length and the identification. Identification is all about that says identify how the packets are assembled and how the packets will be identified using the checksum values. Here you can see this is the hexadecimal value that associates with each of the packets that sends inside the headers and that identified when it was going to be assembled. The most important part that is the flags. Here we expand the flags. Here is also the flag that is 2 that is in the hexadecimal and that is set so number two this is the first one that is set it means don't fragment don't fragment means there is nothing more data that to be fragmented if there are more data that to be arrived there will be the three here will be three and this will be one and fragments will be set and once the more fragments is set to one and more the data to be arrived the, there will be an offset value that identifies the packets depending upon the apps offset value the rest of the part that is the ttl value i hope you all understand that this is the networking part of the computer system and the networking where we need to know about the ttl value if you're working in the networking that counts each hops and when it when it reaches to zero there will be time time to leave value exceeded this is very important when there is the network communications using the routers because most of the times and obviously most of the time the routers exceeded and refused with the TTL value that is different from your system generated. Here is the protocol that use the TCP header checksum that values and verifies that data that has been in transit is not modified or there is only that data there is no any packet drops or not duplicate data that will be assembled in each other so the data will be invalid that is why the header checksum is used at this time you can see there is the unverified it means there is no verification held in order to verify the checksum status rest are simple this is the source destination source geo ip that is the geographic location ip destination geo ip coming to ipv6 we need to add the filter for here here we can see there is ipv6 that is the source ip this is my system ip and here is the destination ip now coming to the IPv6, we can see this is the source destination. The rest of the part or most will be straightforward. This is the payload length. This is the next header that is UDP. It will be changed once I will move from there. This is the hop limit that you may say this is the TTL value. Source is in IP address destination GUIP for the source GUIP for the destination. All the information regarding the IPv6 that is in transit or that is taking place may be found inside the UDP protocol because it used the UDP protocol to transfer. Here you can see this is the next header UDP. And that too used the source port, MDNS, the services, 
5353. Destination port MDN is 5353. Length is 98. And there is the checksum values that is unverified. So that's all about the IPv6 and IPv4 that are all straightforward and practical in nature. We can also use the IPv6 and IPv4 statistics by going to IPv6 and IPv4 from here. That will all say how many communications are taking place using the IPv4 and IPv6. If I will use the IPv6 statistics, destinations and the ports, source and destination addresses, it will say everything about that packets. Here you can see there are the number of packet counts with the source IP address that is IPv6 and the destination is only one having the packet count 21. And once again we can apply the display filter here. So the bottom line of analyzing the IPv4 and IPv6 is you need to must know about what is TTL value, what is header checksums, what is header of the packets that are going to be transferred, source, destination, services, port numbers. In next couple of lessons, we will analyze HTTP and all that protocols that are used widely. That will be in detail how the communications takes place. So that it will be easier and identified how we can analyze and how we can troubleshoot bigger issues that is going to be happen or that is happening around the networks.